Hello friends and welcome at my channel. Today let's compute few more examples with uh, the rule of Mr. L'Hopital. Um, in the last video I've solved three examples, so let's do three more maybe tonight. All right, so we start with limit x towards 1, x cubed minus 2x um, squared minus x plus 2 and we are dividing by x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So what's happening here? If I put 1 for x, what am I going to get in the numerator? Well, it's 0 and what's happening in the denominator? It's 0 again. So this is um, a so-called undefined case where we are dividing 0 by 0 and if the functions are differentiable and these are two polynomials so they are differentiable we can compute their derivatives and then check whether the limits of the derivatives by the rule of L'Hopital do exist. So let's do it. I mean in the case of x running towards infinity that would be an easy choice because obviously x cubed is a dominant term in the numerator and the same in the denominator so we're going to get one if that would be plus or minus infinity but it's not the case we are running towards one so what are we going to get in the numerator this is uh, 3x squared minus 4x minus 1 what's happening in the denominator it's 3x squared minus 7 so what am I going to get if I'm putting 1 now for x? Well, you see we're going to get 3 minus 4 minus 1, and minus 1 more is going to be minus 2. And we're going to get minus 2 divided by minus 4, so it's just a half. Easy, breezy. Next, let's consider limit x towards 0 x times cosine of x minus sine of x divided by x cubed. Um, all right, so what do we have here? If I put for um, x 0 in the denominator, we have x as a factor and sine is 0 as well. So there are both 0, so the numerator is 0, x cubed is 0 as well. So, perfect case for L'Hopital since all the functions are differentiable. We have a product rule, so it's 1 times the cosine of x um, plus x times minus sine of x uh, minus cosine of x divided over 3 x squared. So what's happening in the numerator? Well, sadly, we, we do have cosine minus cosine. Uh, it's getting away. And we can cancel x squared and x, which is rather nice. So we're going to get a limit x towards 0. This is an important fact here. We get minus sine of x. I could have put the minus sign outside of the limit but I haven't divided by 3x and now you see well let's put maybe minus a third in front of the limit since we're already familiar we are familiar with this limit this is 1 right we've been using it over and over again so the total result in this case would be minus a third I would say not so obvious at the beginning of the computation, right? So obvious for you. I'm happy, but it wasn't obvious to me. Okay, so let's do the next, and I think it's going to be the last for tonight. X towards 1, 1 minus x in the numerator, and 1 minus sine of pi x divided by 2 in the denominator. So we have sine of pi divided by 2. Um, if 
x is running towards 1, so sun, sine, divided, sine of pi divided by 2 is uh, 1, so 1 minus 1 in the denominator and 1 minus x in the numerator. So once again, 0 divided by 0. Let's use L'Hopital. We have only minus 1 in the numerator, what's happening in the denominator, so sine giving me a cosine, so minus cosine of pi x divided by 2 times the inner derivative would be pi divided by 2. So if x is running towards 1, we got cosine of pi divided by 2, cosine of 90 degree, which would be 0. Is that a problem? Well, let's see it maybe just a bit more precise. So we still have limit x towards 1, so we can get rid of minuses in the numerator and in the denominator as well. Division by um, pi divided by 2 is actually multiplication times its reciprocal, which is 2 divided by pi, so I'm putting 2 up. I'm having pi times the cosine of um, pi divided by 2x. And now we have a trouble because, well, we are approaching 0, but we do not know exactly. Let's see. So this is cosine and that would be pi divided by 2 where we would be 0, right? So if x is approaching 1, we are approaching cosine of pi divided by 2, but we do not know exactly from which side. So that would mean if we are smaller than 1, if we are less than 1, so that would be uh, less than pi divided by 2, we will be having a positive value. And if we are greater than 1, we'll be having a negative value. So in this case, no limit is given. Not just because we're dividing by 0, um, but rather because of the problem with plus or minus infinity. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.